folks, we're now gonna go, this is Fat Guy Flies RC coming to you from the man cave. Big shout out to Hobby Zone for sending me out the MiG-29 for review. This is gonna be the radio setup on how to do forward program using an AR-631 um, spectrum receiver, okay? So first thing, let's get our mic fixed where I've got it where you can hear me. Okay, obviously I have the model all bound up, all right? You're gonna to wanna to make sure, your first step is make sure your model's bound up. Okay? Make sure all your, and if this is, this would not be your first model, so you should already know how to set up a model. All right. Make sure all your control servers are going the right way. Otherwise, so I got right aileron. I do right aileron, I see the right aileron come up. If I do up elevator, I see up elevator, down elevator, right? Right rudder, left rudder. So every, all the main control servers are working correctly before I go into forward program. But before we do that, let's talk about CG. All right, with the, the if you go online and look at the online manual, it's gonna tell you 85 to 95 millimeters back from the leading edge root, which is where the wings touch the fuse. Well, they've updated that and they realize that that is now wrong. And the correct CG is now 95 to 110 millimeters back from the leading edge root, which actually puts it, if you look at these structures right here, puts it basically in between those two. So if you look at my marks, they're right there. So what that equates to underneath is if you look underneath, you'll see your wing screw there. Put your finger about half a, about an inch back and put it right there on that plastic. And that'll pretty much, well, let me put the canopy back on if you wanna have everything going. Okay, and that pretty much does it. You can feel the, uh, the screw there, go right back from there, and that pretty much does it. We'll turn it over though, so I can show you. Put the finger there, and finger there, and that pretty much, she, she, she CG's pretty good, maybe slightly nose heavy. Um, kind of hard to do with my fingers, but uh, pretty good right there. Okay, and then if you put the gear down, back, she might actually be maybe, well, she's pretty, pretty rocked in, pretty good. So that's pretty good right there. And that, if you look underneath, you'll see these wing bolts. Basically, there's your wing bolt right there where my thumb is go in about a, about a half a finger pad in. And uh, if you look very closely, you can see, like I say, see that wing bolt there? This whole area here. So take your wing bolt, go in about an inch, and that's where she CG's at, right there. So, and you can feel the wing bolt underneath. So that's pretty good right there. All right, the other thing you're gonna wanna do before you um, start with forward programming. Remember we talked about in the manual, it says to have a mechanical up elevator about five millimeters up. All right, well, I've done that. All right, and let me show you what that looks like, okay? If you look, uh, if you look right here, you can see that I'm up just a hair that's five millimeters up on either side, and that's exactly the same on either side. And that make, what that makes it look, and to give you another reference point from the rear, is the bottom of the, of the uh, elevator, the bottom is level with this structure here, okay? So if it's level, if the bottom is level with that structure there, you know you're right on the money, okay? Right on the money, and that gives you all that. Okay, so. Now that you've got your model completely configured, got the nose coating off for a reason, and you know your control surface are going correct, and that's paramount with setting up with forward programming, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is, all your control surface are working perfectly. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna to come to your screen, okay? Hopefully you can see this. You're gonna to go to forward programming, Okay, I'm gonna go to other settings. Oh, wait, sorry. 
Uh, well, this mod, this one already has been set up already, so we're going to factory reset it. That's if you okay. So now go back out. All right. First time set up. This is what you want to see. Okay. Make sure everything's configured right. Make sure everything's configured right. Set the model level. And hit continue. All right. And then it says set the model on its nose. And hit continue. Well, obviously, I have to come over here. Set the model on. That's why I took the nose cone off. Because the computer has to know when hit which way is down when I hit continue. All right. And what that does is it figures what orientation you have the receiver in. Which, I, which to show you where the receiver is, I have the AR631 right there with, actually I have it going sideways. Okay, it's sideways. All right, and all the, all the things are plugged in towards the rear here. I'll show you that again in just a moment. Okay. But that shows you graphically on the screen what the uh, orientation, it tells you what it is, orientation 13. Okay, you're gonna hit continue. And you're gonna hit gain channel select. Now this is important. I like using, see where it says aux three there? I'm gonna go down here. Number one, you're gonna hit yes. And you're gonna go to what, aux three, okay? I want to use this knob here, okay, yes, and then I'm going to hit apply. Now the model's now thinking about it, doing that little dance, okay, you're going to click and click, go back into forward programming again, hit gyro settings again, this is going to be the first time save setup, okay, you're going to pick your FM channel, all right, I like using for my gyro stuff on my B. So I'm gonna hit over here, aux two for B, and hit next. Okay, hit continue. All right, it's on, it's on the second position. I'm gonna go to the first position, and that changes it to flight mode one. Next, next, first time save setup. No, we're just going, all right, we've already got that. Next, next. All right, when you get this screen, the model's sitting level. Okay, we want to capture. All right, it's got a positive one for roll and a negative one for pitch. All right, so pitch is up and down, roll is this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to level the model and attitude Click on that, I'm not going to hit, I'm just going to highlight it, and I'm going to push down a little bit, I'm going to hit it. All right, that gives me a negative four pitch. So I'm going to highlight, um, see I'm highlighting level model, I'm going to show you. I'm highlighting it, okay? So now that means I'm, now I'm just going to pick up just a touch. I'm going to highlight it. All right, now that made my roll now zero. So it captured that but my pitch is a negative two or a negative one. So that means my, pay, my table's not perfectly level. So let's see which side. I'm gonna hit level model and press down on one side. Okay, so that's too much. Hit level model again, press down on this side. Negative three. Okay. Negative two. So that means my table's just not level. All right, so that's, but actually, actually not too bad. If the roll, all right, let's try it again. All right, so I need to bring that pitch up a little bit. All right, that's not too bad right there. And that ended up being a positive, a positive one and a 
positive one and a positive one on pitch and roll. So that's not too bad. It's just slightly off. You want to try to get both those numbers as close to zero as you can get it. Now, if it's like a negative five and a positive eight, well, then you really need a level. But a positive one here is not enough to really matter. Okay, it's just, it's, it's learning what actual safe level flight is. So we're good with that. So we're gonna go to next, okay? Let me get where it's lined up on the camera here. Get next, okay? Leave these configures, these numbers here alone. Hit next and hit apply. She's going through her dance. Okay, click it again, go back to forward programming. Okay, go to gyro settings. All right, flight mode one. All right, we go to flight mode settings. Now here is important. This is an important step. You want to make sure that you come down where it says, here it says, says safe mode's inhibited, or it's safe would not be on. So I'm gonna make this self-level angle that's what I'm going to do, leave right there, self-level on, okay? Then we'll go back up here. Now I'm going to flip this switch to flight mode two. Now that's just AS3X, so this is active. Now I'm going to put this switch in position zero. AS3X mode. And then that is flight mode three. And what I want to do here is I want to inhibit this, okay? So if I, I'm going to, I'm going to move in the switch here. Flight mode one, self-level. AS3X flight mode two, AS3X. AS3X. Flight mode three, AS3X is inhibited. Don't worry about what the audio says. Okay, so to prove that, remember, we put the gain channel on this roller and I've got it all the way down. I've got it all the way down. Okay, so if I put it on flight mode one, safe mode, safe mode okay. Give it some gas. Motor on. Wait a minute. Motor off. Motor on. Okay, let's unplug it and plug it back in. Because apparently my ESCs didn't uh, arm. Okay. 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 Now. Motors are on, right? Okay. So, and I'm in safe mode. So, when I pick this model up, watch the elevators. Ah. Didn't do anything. I wonder if I still have it. Let's go back to go back to forward programming. Warning, throttle cut off. Gotta have off. gotta have throttle cut off. Okay, flight mode one. Okay, because I turned it off, I've got to go back to flight mode where safe instead of safe inhibit. I got to pick self level. Okay. Now that should be on now. And see, look. Look at them elevators. They're holding positions, okay? Look at that aileron, holding its position, okay? Elevator is holding position. That would self-right the plane. So if I go to flight mode two. AS3X mode. But wait a minute, how come I'm not here and how come my, uh, I'm, my gyros aren't on? Well, Motor on. remember you gotta get the gyros up over Okay, but wait a minute, how come I don't hear any gyros? Remember, I've got them on that switch. If I turn the gains up, now you can hear them. Now, if I go to flight mode three, AS3. where I've got AS3X actually turned off, don't worry about what the audio says. All right, nothing there. Okay, I guess I didn't, I try, I still gotta hit inhibit that. So the way it's gonna look. Warning, throttle cut off. Yes, I know. Off. Okay. Gyro settings, flight mode three. I've got to 
inhibit that. All right, now, flight mode three, no gyros. Flight mode two, here are the gyros, and flight mode one, safe mode is working. Now, I've noticed that I don't get much movement with this this AS3X uh, uh, roller. I'm not getting much gains uh, correction. So let's go back to the gyro settings. Go to the AS3X settings instead. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this to two, okay, to two times. Then go back, okay. All right, now I've got the roller all the way down. I'm just in the just in the AS3X mode. Okay, got the roller all the way down. Going to turn the roller all the way up, and now that's a very, very dramatic uh, correction. Okay, that's very much. So if I had a lot of wind, you know, then I would probably have that dialed, and I can pull that back down to about halfway, and nowhere near as much. Now let's make sure our gyros are going the right way. Okay, so if I pull up. Gyro should push towards the, if I pull up on the control surface, the, gy, the, the control surface should move towards my hand, and it does. If I go this way with the rudder, which way do you think the, this rudder should turn with the gyro? It should push against my hand, and it does. If I pull up on the elevator, or on the aileron, this wing, this aileron should push against my hand, and it does. It should put, if the gyro is working correctly, it should push against the, the movement of the, of the control surface. In other words, if the wind, is pushing the wing up, okay, this way, then the aileron's gonna push to push the wing back down, okay? So you're gonna go against that movement. So that, I know my gyros are working correctly now. All right, so, safe mode. safe mode. She holds her position, gonna self right. AS3X. AS3X mode, just my wind gyro. Flight AS3X mode, AS3X flight AS3X mode, Two, which is because you got flight mode zero, which is safe, flight mode one, which is AS3X, and flight mode two, which is going to be no gyro, as I don't have any kind of correction at all. All right, and that's how you inhibit that. Let's go, let me show you that one more time because one of the things my viewers want to know is how can I turn AS3X off? So you go back to forward programming. Okay, you're going to go to gyro settings, go to your flight mode. And if you're in, in, in flight mode three, or wherever you where you got your three mode, like okay, here's Safe. all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, flight mode zero, or flight mode one, I got safe. We'll pull this back to the middle position here. AS3X. Flight mode two, that's just AS3X is active with safe mode inhibited. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it towards me, AS3X. and look, it says AS3X is inhibited. So. I'm going to pull the switch, watch, safe watch, mode. pay attention to the, cha the, the set change there. Flight mode one, safe, AS3X is active, self-leveling is active. AS3X flight mode two, mode. only AS3X is active. AS3X and flight mode three, mode. AS3X is inhibited. All right, and that's all you do to have your three different levels. Okay, um, let's talk about rates. Okay, we talked about CG. We talked. I've showed you how to do forward programming. Let's talk about rates for the model. This is the rates I have chosen. My high rates, low rates. or my low rates, are going to be on all. I think on all control services are 60% with 30% expo. So let's see if I can show you how that looks on the camera here. Okay. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna get this locked in. All right, my low rates are 60%, 30% expo. And that's what that looks like, okay? Uh-oh, I'm too close on the edge here. I'm afraid it's gonna work its way, okay? Okay, my mid rates mid -rate. are 80% with 30% expo. That's what that looks like. And then my high rates are 100%, 30% expo. 
that's what that looks like. All right, let's talk about flaps. Flap system is on my channel, is on D, here, D. Flaps up are a negative 100% with 0% flat uh, mix. Takeoff flaps are a positive 25% with a 5% down elevator mix. Landing is 100% down with a 10% down elevator mix, and that's how it graphically looks. Okay. Flaps up. Flaps up. Takeoff Take flaps. flaps. Landing flaps. Landing flaps in a two second deployment. Again, landing flaps are 100% with a 10% down elevator mix. Takeoff flaps. Takeoff are 25% with a 5% down elevator mix. Flaps up. And flaps up is a negative 100% with 0% down elevator mix. More than likely, I will fly this plane and I have found that I will take off in landing flaps for some reason. This plane needs a lot. So, but we'll try it. I have noticed that this particular plane versus the one that I had before, the nose spring is a little stiffer and these nozzles are a lot harder. So I'm thinking this, I've got the, the, the improved model. Okay, so we've talked about rates, we've talked about CG, we've talked about the flaps, and timer's gonna, now this plane eats batteries. Three minutes on a 4,000. If you get a 5,000 in there, three and a half minutes, but no more than three and a half minutes. These twin, this plane is not optimized that well. Okay, I'll be honest, it does eat the batteries. So put a 4,000, three minutes. That's all you're going to get. After two and a half minutes, start thinking about your landings because you're going to you might have to have a couple of go arounds. But three minutes, land it. If you get a five thousand in there, you're going to have maybe get three and a half, but no more than three and a half minutes. We will be flying it, trying it with the GNS uh, performance analyzer, see what kind of speed we can get on our maiden. Um, to go over again, make sure you've got a five percent um, up elevator. Okay. Make sure I'm not in safe. safe mode. I'm not in safe. Okay. And uh, actually, it's five percent down elevator is really what it is because that's actually down a little bit to where. But like, like I say, at the end of the day, as long as that's even, then you're in good shape. Okay. Yeah, that goes in towards the foam, towards the white. So yeah. Um, the, the, don't go by the manual online. CG is actually a little further back. It's actually 95 to 110, not the 85 to 95 that they show you online because I've got the most updated information. And don't go more than three minutes. Three minutes is all you're going to get. And because uh, this plane does eat the battery. She's not a speed demon. If I get this thing over 100 miles an hour, I will be very, very pleased. Okay, she looks good in the air. She handles real well. She um, takes off easily. You know, you're gonna have full up elevator and you're just gonna take off. And uh, she takes off pretty good. But landing this plane is a little more tricky because if you land with a too high an angle of attack, anything more than say 10% up, then you're gonna have a terrible bounce and you're gonna rip this nose cone right off. And so that's why I say, if you buy this plane, buy a couple extra nose cones because that's just what's going to happen. You want to bring this plane in actually about, like say this is level flight. When you land, you don't want to land any more than that. This is level, land about like that, just slightly up. You should be able to see just a little bit of the belly as you're coming in and then you want to bring her down, okay? If you land in like this, more of a high alpha, you're gonna have a bad bounce, and then this spring is gonna think, and look, what, look what's gonna happen. You're gonna go right in there and rip that nose cone right off, okay? Um, so not recommended for a grass field. If you've got a nice firm grass field, maybe really manicured really well, and that grass doesn't go over half the wheel, okay, but, uh, Anything more than that, no. You're gonna be ripping your nose cone off. All right? Well, anyways, folks, that is the MIG 
29 from Arrows. Um, great flying plane from what my old one I had. I'm going to try the new one uh, hopefully tomorrow and get you the maiden flight for it. I'm thinking I've got the updated one because my, my uh, exhaust tubes were very, very flimsy and you could squeeze them. These are hard as a rock. So I'm hoping this is the, the, the tuned ones that are a little bit better off. Oh, and the other thing is if you put your AR361 right there where you got the, the leads up, um, you may have to carve a little bit of foam out just to get your hatch to fit in there nice, but that's no big deal. They understand that you're going to do that. Everybody's batteries and receivers are a little bit different, but that's in there. So, all right, well, folks, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I can't really think of anything else. We covered CG, we covered rates, we covered how to do forward programming. Um, we covered... I mean, you should already know how to set up a basic model profile. Again, make sure all your control surfaces are working perfectly before you go through the forward programming uh, setup because if they're not in the right direction, then you're, you're safe and your AS3X is going to think the incorrect direction is the right direction. That's why it's important to have all your control surfaces working in the right direction before you have the computer remember the safe and AS3X settings. Okay? Folks, thank you for watching Hobby Zone. Thank you for the plane. God bless each and every one of my wonderful tubinators. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. Don't forget, stay family and friends in the Jets. <laughs>